Asbury. The board voted 7-0. Um, we had two members that weren't able to be with us um, to appoint Eric Gordon as our next um, CEO of the Cleveland School District. Thank you, everyone. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Last year, the Cleveland Metropolitan School District announced an aggressive academic transformation plan, which outlines the potential for a brighter future for the children of our city. Unfortunately, not near enough has been accomplished to date to actually change our achievement in our district. the past two years, I mentioned we've cut $104 million and each year gotten incrementally better despite that. I was in two schools uh, you know, this week where I saw our teachers and our kids working aggressively to learn and to teach and so you know, I'm counting on the quality of our personnel to continue to carry the day. The goal number one is to graduate every single one of our students 21st century graduate ready. And that means making sure that they not only get the academic skills and readiness that is our core mission of the organization, but also To meet these goals, we must expand what we know works today and change those things that do not. The Cleveland Plan gives us the opportunity to diversify, to create choices for families and students, to create different kinds of schools for different kinds of kids. So we're working on a few things. We're revamping our Closing the Achievement Gap program that has worked so well for African American boys to now target Hispanic boys as well. Uh, we're working on mentor relationships, particularly with Esperanza and the uh, Hispanic Roundtable. And we're also looking at, in particular, scientific content and academic writing so that our kids have an academic vocabulary that allows them to be successful in the high school test. The promise was if we wrote a proposal that described a uh, high quality STEM experience that it would be fundable. We know that we cannot do this work alone and I've been pretty public about uh, my excitement to lead this district but knowing that it is that I am one of many who will have to champion on behalf of our children. Good afternoon everyone. Oh that's not CMSD. I thought it came to a CMSD event. Good afternoon everyone. Yeah. Yeah, CMSD. I do every single day because of my partner, my friend, a lifelong educator, my wife Dawn. And Dawn. That's why the Board of Education and I have specifically agreed to negotiate a one-year contract, a no-frills contract, for my employment as CEO. Good morning, Mount School. This thing on. Good morning, Mount School. That's a little bit better. Look, we're about to do some real exciting fun things with this ribbon over here, but I need enthusiasm if we're going to do that. <laughs> Katina is a brightly lit, colorful classroom from the hallway. You see those walls that turn into those floors, the beautiful colors throughout and has top state-of-the-art surveillance equipment to make sure that you are safe inside and on the ground. You know, we spend so much time in the district worrying about the things we're not yet satisfied with that we don't spend enough time talking about what's really working. Today is about what works. 44 great schools, continuous improvement, effective and excellent schools across our city in the arts and sciences and STEM technologies and engineering community partnerships in all of our schools, our all city programs and band and uh, choir and performance and our Footloose musical. Today's a celebration of what works in CMSD.
merger between our state and our community. starting to measure our schools and saying, how does our school represent the neighborhood it serves? Does it serve a typical child? Does it serve the at-risk student or the special education student or the English language learner? The low-performing schools turning around, Cleveland is a national model at the dual language school on the near west side. We are one of 11 school districts in the country that earned the turnaround specialist because of your school. A school that was an academic emergency for years and now is continuous improvement or effective each year for the last several years. Oh, I've had a full day today. We started off here at Rock Hall on the main stage. I saw the students premiere CMSD Family. Wow. Brand new song uh, written by our students, commissioned for our district. Uh, just powerful, blew me away. And then Footloose, uh, an <laughs> excerpt of our show that's coming up, uh, rolled right into that and, and just, you know, powerhouse in the stage. Made it over to the Science Center. We saw student projects for K-8 and high school. Saw award-winning projects in science, technology, engineering, art, and math all combined. Uh, managed to make it through the family tent. I mean, what a great day. Look, do we care about who owns the school? Or do we care about whether that kid is doing great in school? Because if we don't care about who owns the school, then we got to find a way to work together to make sure everybody gets a great school. But we can't do that when there's no controls about greatness. So instead, we stick on who owns it. Well, this group would actually have the responsibility to make sure that charter schools in our community cannot open up and cannot stay open if they're not good. I cannot ask anyone to be more accountable than I am willing to be myself. I expect, and the community should expect, that I be held accountable for clear one-year goals like those I've outlined this morning as I accept the role of Chief Executive Officer for the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. I want to especially thank Mayor Jackson, Chair Link, and members of the Board of Education for their confidence in me, and I look forward to our collaborative work ahead.